Alright, YouTube video. Hello everybody, my name is Frost here, Frost, this is no Pick one. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We're gonna... Uh, Darkest Dungeon? Darkest Dungeon is not free. I got it while it was on sale. Uh, so I got it for like two or three dollars. Um... Normally, it's, I believe, $15. The board game costs a whole lot more than that. Mythic Games made a Kickstarter for Darkest Dungeon, the board game. And I don't know if, if you can still late pledge to the board game. Uh, but... The full version, like with all of the expansions and stuff, uh, including shipping and including the art book, and including the organizer to store the tokens in, cost me $520. Yeah. And the problem with me getting Darkest Dungeon the board game is it got me looking at other Kickstarters for games. So, I had already in the past supported the Kickstarter for the Binding of Isaac Four Souls, which is the Binding of Isaac card game. But... A Kickstarter was recently started for Four Souls Requiem, which is a huge expansion to Four Souls. And a, with a bunch of Kickstarter exclusive alternate art cards and warp zone cards, including, by the way, a card of the Collector from Darkest Dungeon, which is awesome. Uh, but Four Souls Requiem, with... I'm also going to be adding on Four Souls Plus, which is a smaller expansion that I forgot to get. Uh, and Tapeworm, which is another game uh, that includes some Four Souls uh, promo cards. So that's going to cost me uh, around, with shipping, around $150, assuming I don't get any other add-ons. Then... Mythic Games made Darkest Dungeon the board game, so I checked out some of their other stuff. And I late pledge I decided to late pledge to Hell the Last Saga. Which, including shipping, is costing me two hundred two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and then <gasps> And then, I'm going to be late pledging to get the board game Storm Sunder, which, with all of its, <laughs> with all of its, it, uh, with all of its expansions, <laughs> will cost me $574. <laughs> I'm sorry for disturbing you in this way, Volti. But I must purchase board games. I mean... Why bother saving for a better computer than the junk one I have over there? Because I usually don't use this better one. Why bother, uh, why bother saving for a better computer when I can just buy, like, five board games? Hold on. I need to make the chat box bigger so that people can see... 
the torment, the the despair that you're going through right now. You tub W. Also, that's not all. I'm also purchasing uh, the D&D book, Heliana's Guide to Monster Hunting, which is going to cost me $50. And I purchased... Uh, oh, and that's a, that's a Kickstarter, which it just ended, so you can still wait pledge. I also supported the Kickstarter for Pexia's Guide to Emeria, and got both the book Pexia's Guide to Amiria and the adventure Hand of the Eight. So that cost me uh, about $45 per book plus uh, $25 for the Foundry Virtual Tabletop version of the adventure. for the board games is mostly because of the incredible miniatures. I mean, hold on. I need to... Hold on. One second. Oh, I just realized that the first, like, eight minutes of, of the, the Darkest Dungeon video is just gonna be me talking about all of my spending. But Storm Sunder includes, like, hundreds of miniatures, including I can't get my phone to zoom in properly on this, hold on. Including this miniature. If you can even call it a miniature. Hold on. If you can even call that a miniature with how... How massive it is compared to the other minis. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to shrink the chat box back down just a little. Oh, and also, <laughs> Volti, you're in my D&D &D group now, which means, well, you won't be, uh, and I use miniatures from other things for D&D, &D. so, well, you won't be, uh, seeing that, that massive be beast of miniature in Out of the Abyss, because it's not part of that campaign, uh, when we finish Out of the Abyss, we're planning on moving to my homebrew world that I'm currently working on making. And you'll definitely see it there. You know, we're at nine minutes now. Maybe I should just make this a separate video of just me talking about my spending habits on the Darkest Dungeon loading screen. Uh, oh, and... Oh, <laughs> you have much more to be scared for Alex about than just the Storm Sunder miniatures. Hold on. I'm going to face cam so that I can... One second. You should be scared for Alex. 
but not because of the Storm Sunder minis. <laughs> because of this. This thing cost me $80 and took me around six months to paint because, uh, much of that time was just spent procrastinating because of how daunting of a project it was. But, uh, turned out pretty good. Hold on, there's not very good lighting here. I need to... Actually, the group encountered this before your your character uh, joined. Before you joined the group, they actually encountered this already. Oh, I just realized you can't see the chat box there. There we go. And, uh, they encountered it and realized that Shane was out of spell slots, so all he had to attack were cantrips. Uh, so yeah. Sean was out of spell slots. And Dylan... Dylan was the only one that could actually deal effective damage to it, because uh, Demogorgon has immunity to non-magical attacks. And uh, Dylan was the only one that had like effective magical attacks because of his sword. And Demogorgon just regenerated all of the damage dealt to him on his turn because only one person was dealing damage so it wasn't enough damage and he could regenerate all of it this is still one of my favorite things that I own well I'm gonna go put this back on the shelf and then uh I'll end this video and start a new one where I'm actually playing Darkest Dungeon. Alright, I think I'm going to title this video Traumatizing Volti. <laughs> I feel like the Darkest Dungeon title screen music was a very fitting background. Well, 14 minutes of Traumatizing Volti, now on to uh, Traumatizing Me with Darkest Dungeon.